Hey guys, I hope you're having a great day today. So, I'm sure if you're on TikTok, you're familiar with the filter that everyone's making videos in where the camera like adds makeup to you, but it's like super natural and it makes people look pretty or whatever. And there's like freckles and it just looks really pretty, right? So, I decided what I wanted to do is try to do my makeup like the filter. This is very different for me because I don't really do makeup, like, at all. Like, I never do my makeup. So... So I'm gonna try, to the best of my abilities to recreate this filter. And so, we're gonna try to make my makeup look like that. If my eyes look watery, it's not because I was crying, it's because I just touched up my eyebrows a little bit and then I was like, my eyes watery. Don't think that this is gonna be a tutorial because like I said earlier, I don't know how to do makeup. It's just, it's an experiment and we're gonna see if this works. And if it doesn't, oh well, because I'm not going anywhere. So for the base of the makeup, I think it's pretty natural. It's not like caked on or anything. And even if it was, I don't have the type of, uh, I don't have the type of products for that, so we're probably just gonna use either this skin milk or this BB cream. Beauty Guru. I decided on this one. Oh shoot. The one time I actually need a beauty blender and I don't know where it is. Found them. <coughs> I'm gonna go wash my hands. This is very liquidy. I'm just gonna start off with like not a lot and then I'm just gonna build it. Hmm, not bad. I'm gonna add more. Oh, we love it when the AC comes on while I'm filming. Who knows, maybe after this, I'll start wanting to do my makeup more. You never know. I'm gonna use a pink one instead because the orange one was shedding. As you can see, I'm clearly a pro at this. I don't really care if it doesn't match my forehead too much because I know my forehead is darker than the rest of my face, but we're gonna be using bronzer later and that should fix the problem. Let's do a little bit more. Okay, even if I do do makeup, which like isn't often at all, I never do foundation. So this is new for me. So next we're gonna do concealer. So I'm gonna use this L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. Just a little bit. I saw this thing on TikTok and she was doing her makeup and she just kind of let the concealer like stay on her face for a little bit and she said let it get tacky maybe i should try that i'm gonna let it sit for a minute i did not in fact let it sit for a minute and so we're just gonna blend it in I think that's good. I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer on any blemishes that I want to conceal. People are always saying that doing their makeup is therapeutic. No cap, it kind of is. so white from back here what the heck I think that's good so next I'm gonna take this makeup palette the Tartiste Pro Glow I got it for Christmas a few years ago okay go off rhyming queen and I didn't use it but we're finally putting it to use I am going to check the filter just to make sure I'm doing it right and then I'll be back all right, I'm back. So, oh, that looks weird. Okay. Mm. 
this palette is like casting a glow on me. I do not want that. This is fine. So I'm just gonna take this shade of bronzer and just bronze, bronze it up, baby. Actually, I'm dumb. I just realized that I wanted to use powder first. Okay, I'm back. So I'm gonna use this powder first to go over what I already did under my eyes. I just wanted to put powder wherever makeup tends to crease. Back to the bronzer. So I'm gonna use this brush, dip it in the bronzer again, and bronze my nose. There's a lot of bronzer underneath the nose and on the sides of the nose. Um, I think that's good for now. While I'm already using the bronzer, I'm just gonna do it in my eyes a little bit. Just, just to add some color. I think that's good. Um, I'm not gonna use the blush in that palette. I'm gonna use this one because it's a warmer blush and I think the filter uses a warmer blush. I think it's pretty good. I think that I did a pretty good job with that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, and now we're gonna do highlight. I'm kind of vibing with the makeup, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a highlight brush. I know I used to, but like I said, I don't really do makeup anymore. I'm gonna use this brush for highlight. I think that's pretty good for highlight. I'm gonna add more bronzer around the nose because the filter really went heavy on that one. Is that good? The lighting is not the best and it's kind of hard to tell. I'm gonna add a little tiny bit more highlight. That's good. So, A, it's looking pretty good so far. I'd say, I mean, especially considering I never do my makeup. I think it's time to do the eyes. I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna do anything to them because the filter doesn't do anything to them. And so I don't think it's necessary. There we go. Oh, this is the scary part. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I could mess everything up here. You know what, first, I'm gonna add a little bit of highlight to the inner corners. Not a lot though, because I don't think the filter really has it. And just to make my eyes pop a little bit. I'm gonna take brown eyeliner, and I'm not gonna do anything crazy with it, but I'm gonna try to the best of my abilities to just line. And I don't do eyeliner so i don't know if this is gonna work but we'll find out i suppose I'm gonna get a q-tip and try to fix this. Now we know that I can't do eyeliner to save my life. You know what, that's not bad. You would think that someone who has somewhat of some skill with drawing and painting would be able to do eyeliner, but I guess that's just not the case. 
I am not even gonna try to do anything else because clearly I can't do eyeliner that does not look good at all. But I'm gonna cover it up with mascara. Do I use brown or do I use black? I'm gonna use black. This is the uh, Voluminous Lash Paradise. First, I'm gonna use this clear mascara as a base. If I do wear any makeup, this is literally all I do, clear mascara. I don't even think that counts, to be honest. People just got home, so if you're talking in the background, that's what it is. I'm sorry. Why does this eye have way longer eyelashes? I'm gonna add the freckles, which is the main part of this because that's literally the name of the filter. I already have some freckles, but I'm just gonna go over them and like add more. I'm gonna do some with eyeshadow so it's not as dark as the ones that I just did and so that it adds a little smudgy effect, I guess. I'm just gonna use bronzer to do this. That seems pretty logical. This is what makes the makeup look like the filter. It's the freckles. Ayo? See, it looks kind of exaggerated, but that's kind of what the filter looks like, so. Um, that looks pretty good if you ask me. All right, lastly, the lips. I mean, there's like not a lot going on in the filter for lips. There's definitely a little bit of a tint. I just realized I wasn't filming when I put the other color on, but it's what it looks like as of right now. <laughs> I think that's pretty close for the lip color. You know what? I think this looks pretty good. Is this the final product? So, this is me. And this is me with the filter. I don't want to get copyrighted, thank you very much. I said I don't want to get copyrighted, thank you very much. I think I did a pretty good job replicating it, if I do say so myself. Especially considering I have absolutely no expertise in the uh, field of makeup. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I sure did. I never do my makeup, so it was fun to get to do it for a change. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. And love you guys. Bye. At least we know now that I am not a beauty guru. It's not my forte.